my delete later by J. Cole took me and possibly everybody else by surprise because I didn't believe that J. Cole was going to release another album, EP, LP, or whatever this mixtape slash album is because I am everybody else is also waiting for the fall off album to be, you know, his final album for, excuse me, either permanent or for like a really long time. But my delete later is actually a really solid album. I know he's been teasing about like with different musics, um, music uh, from the Burner accounts. I don't know if it was like on Instagram or on YouTube, but he did tease with three, um, 3001 and with Crocodile Tears, which is both are my favorite. Those are my, like my favorite songs out of the entirety of the album. Besides, you know, 7 Minute Drill, but like, I kind of have a lot of a hate relationship. We'll, we'll get to that in a bit. But right off the bat with Pricey just sets like the mood of how he's um, going into this album of like he might delete later and all that shit. And he's teasing again with the fall off. That's possibly I have a good feeling that the fall off, uh, the fall off album by Jiggle is going to happen this year. Mark my fucking words. And it's actually really nice and refreshing for me because I've been listening to J. Cole, Kedrick, and like other artists' music for a bit. But with J. Cole specifically, I really craved a little bit more like J. Cole content. So I'm glad to see we got something, especially this year, because I always thought, hey, we're just going to wait for that last album. But hey, we got another album to keep us, you know, occupied till then. But yeah, Pricey sets just the stage and the mood of how the My Delete later is. I feel like it's a really good introduction and everything. The performances with J. Cole but in his lyricism are always on point. Featuring with Ari Lennox. I don't know how to pronounce her name. But she's part of my favorite song with Shea Butter Baby that's featuring J. Cole. So it's just like, I love her vocals too. She sang really beautifully. And I had to break the immersion. And surprisingly, Gucci Mane, you know, interesting fellow. But he spit some of his verse on there too. And I actually enjoy that. Especially with Wolf Van Drow too. All these new artists that he just brings together to make his projects just like so poppy. I don't know. It's just a me thing. Crocodile Tears, that was just my favorite one, especially when I was uh, like, that was a song I was just mostly just intuitive looking for every single time when I wanted to hear something new from J. Cole. It was always that one. It always has like such a weary, eerie like in intro until he just gets so harder with his verses and it's getting so versatile and like the beat drops even more and more. I just like it because it's really it's more like a slow steady to like a hype type of song and he absolutely just nailed that shit all the way to the fucking ground. I enjoy that. Uh Ready Twenty Four is is decent. Um with the featuring of Cameron is actually not bad. Uh, Hot and Rabbits, that one, it kind of took me out of, under the loop for a bit because it's just like, uh, Hot and Rabbits, like, I thought he was going to rap about some shit about, like, with rabbits or whatever, but, hey, not, 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 not really about that, but it's good nonetheless. I know he sampled with me Cannon's Bugs Bunny, so that kind of took me off guard of, like, be very, very quiet. I'm Hot and Rabbits. I'm like, what the fuck am I listening to? But it was... Still good, nonetheless, to listen to. Um, Hydra Bitch with Boss and Central C. It's good, but it's not my favorite. Like, if you took out Central C, I have nothing against the artist. But I feel like his feature on that song kind of just ruined it for me. The immersion, because I like J. Cole and Boss whenever they collab together with a song. I feel like they really do bounce off of each other. And they can coherently just make a great sound together, nonetheless. Fever. Fever reminds me of um, 2014 Forest Hill Drive. That kind of gives me that type of feeling, you know, in my opinion. I just love just, like, the vibe. It, it, like, that's, like, what the song is just giving me and what's reminiscing is just about that album. And I love it so much because, you know, 2014 Forest Hill Drive, one of my personal favorite J. Cole albums. So, of course, Fever reminds me of that album. Six and Sons really goes hard, too. Love the beat that J. Cole uses on here. Really immersed with his lyricism. Cannot compliment this man anymore and praise him anymore from songs. Uh, Pi, not really my favorite either, especially with the two other artists. Really just breaks the immersion for me of, like, 
transitioning with coal to daylight and then ab absol not really good for my ears maybe for anybody else's but you know he does spit a lot in, in the song but it's just breaks the immersion for myself really stealth mode really good song with boss i cannot express this enough those two great um 30 301 really good too it just reminds me of just like cruising cruising down and just think about just whatever i have in life and it goes intuitive with trade uh trade the truth in bzt i don't know if that's how like you say it correctly but yeah um i just i just like what just cold <clears throat> i just like what j cole says with his truth about how he's going through with his life and all that good stuff and cannot get more of this man of what he just talks says about and everything but cole literally just on top of his game can can cannot just <clears throat> just sounds good to me i don't know what i feel like jekyll just knows like what he knows what the audience can like listen to and hear at the same time you know and he's a genius for that but yeah for most of these songs are really decent you know, especially for an average J. Cole fan as myself. This is honestly a good body work that he has put together on. For me, it looks like a short notice. I don't know if he was just dropping. If I don't know if it was the idea to drop this album or if it was just like to make it a whole separate thing while making the fall off. Because I feel like it would have been a great thing. Like with some of these songs, I like Crocodile Tears and Pricey the most. And with 3001 too. And then with Stealth Mode with Boss too. Are really good songs, so I thought that might be like you know, oh, that could be great for the fall. But hey, it's his own separate body of work with this intuitive with this album. So I think J Cole really success succeeded of what he was trying to accomplish with this album. Really good stuff here. And then last but not least, we gotta talk about Seven Minute Drill. I love this song. I just love the beat that he uses. I love the switch that dynamic shift between like the one fifty to two minute mark and then he just switches to like a sample i think someone made like the comment of like he uses a uh, drake's sample from uh energy which is also a good song by jersey too really good stuff there i i just love that but like the lyrics man it's like i love it i like what he's saying but it's just like for being a kendrick disc did not hit at all being a kendrick disc did not hit at all because for me personally, there's nothing you can do or say to even disrespect Kendrick Lamar because this man literally outed himself in the recent Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers album. It's like, bruh, like you, you, you really about to like talk shit about a man that really has already put his whole information out. Like he's still doing shows, but fell off like the Simpsons. Not really. Your first shit was classic because Section 80 is a classic. Your last shit was tragic, not really, because it's just talking about Kendrick's mental health. And then you put, in your second shit, put N-words to sleep, but they gassed it. So I'm kind of confused, because Good Kid Mac City is really fucking good, dude. It is, like, impressive body of art. And then your third shit was massive, and that was your prime. I mean, like, to be honest, not really, because Kendrick has been consistent with his body of work especially like i feel like to pimp to butterfly outshines a little bit more of good kid mad city in my opinion i enjoy the fuck out of good kid and mad city but to pimp the butterfly it's just a unique body of work that kendrick just in, like intuitively involved himself in a whole lot more that just makes it so fucking good too and it was your prime i was telling behind and i'm just hit my i mean like eh it's it's what it's like it's whatever on that but it's just really it, it, like this just really does not even feel like he was dissing him it's more so he's just attacking like i'm pretty sure he was just trying to attack his like discography but it's just like bro if you take a look at jay coles and kendrick they're just like uncomparable because let's be honest here kendrick is better than jay cole but jay cole's the only person i feel like that can stand up against kendrick if he takes his time you know and then it's talking about like four albums in 12 years that i can divide shit what you want to indulge violence yada 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 really not a good diss track and 
What's ironic about this is, as I was record before, I was even recording because you know everybody was talking about this. Fucking like Jayco literally apologized for even making seven minute drill, and for me even to go into it like reading the title seven minute drill, I'm like, oh shit, Kevin or uh, Jayco got like seven minutes of like shit to say, and it's literally just like they're three and a half minutes. I'm like, bro, like that is like, bro, you can't even make it. Like you can't go another more three and a half minutes like i'm not complaining that i do like the song i do like it but it's not a really good diss for kendrick it's not a really good um kendrick diss in my opinion bro literally like recorded it listened to it heard it published it and then bad tracks with the apology i mean like props for jacob for doing that like he's keeping that humbleness strapped to his fucking shoulders man like most humblest man i ever known and a rapper at the same time and most humblest rapper ever man and apologizes for that it's just like man that he is something else he's a good he's a good fucking dude but that song is kind of like a hit or miss for some people i like it because of how he just and talks his lyrics into it and his beats and everything. That's the parts I enjoy. I'm not really looking at this of like, oh shit, let's put on that because we want to diss Kendrick. Because now I'm not looking at this as a Kendrick diss. I'm just looking at it. It's just like another hate classic of like J. Cole just trying to diss, but like not really dissing, dissing, you know, just giving his interpretation, even though none of those lyrics that I just read weren't really hitting Kendrick like that, in my opinion. And then, you know, backtracks it with an apology. It's just like, bruh, that's kind of weird. But I'm just ready for Drizzy's response most, mostly on that. But with my Delete Later album by J. Cole, I will give this a solid 8 out of 10, dude. Amazing body of work. Has a great runtime for being 48 minutes with just, or not 48, like 40 something. It's like 40, 45 minutes, somewhere around there with like 12 songs. Really impressive stuff that he did here. And I can't wait to see what more he has down the line if he's going to release like another EP or something because he did say that he was gonna that he can drop like two classics. So it's just like, is he teasing like another EP or LP or another album, or if it's just going to be this album following along with the fall off? So yeah, I gotta say this is great. Love getting some more new J Cole content because you know the off season was just good. But it's just like man, I really just hope he drops something at least in the near future. And I'm not disappointed of how this album turns out because in my opinion, I enjoyed it. You know, do I think it's better than the rest? Um, no, I'll probably might want to rank it a little bit different a little bit differently if you guys want me to rank like because i've seen this topic of like ranking the big three like the big threes uh um albums if you guys are interested in that let me know in the comments if not i'll say okay with me on that but anyways guys yeah let me know what you guys think about my delete later by j cole really solid album by him great lyricists all around if you like it or not if not that's okay with me. Let me know what you guys' favorite songs are. Like I said, with Pricey, Crocodile De Tears, and 308, and 7 Minute Drill. Pretty good songs right there, too. If not, that's okay with me. But, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew 39 and I hope y'all have a wonderful morning, night, day, evening, or whatever the occasion is. Take care, stay safe, and all that good jazz. But, anyways, guys, later.